Hello and welcome back to Hearthstone. My name is Lumen and right now it's time to jump into some more ranked play and in this video we're going to be using a Reno Lock variation. I say variation because, well, <laughs> as you can see there are a lot of cards, there are 30 different cards in a Reno Lock deck because you don't want to play any copies of anything seeing that that hinders Reno Jackson. When you play Reno Jackson if your deck contains no more than one of any card fully heal your hero, that's kind of the driving force behind this deck. So because of it, you only have one of each card, and because of that, there are so many different variations of these decks. A lot of people play more aggressive ones, some play more control-oriented ones, some people actually have multiple copies of cards. But, you know, then it's a little risky if you're playing against a, a mega aggro deck and you have Reno Jackson, but you're not sure if you've drawn those duplicate cards yet. It's, it's tough. You know, what if your two doubles all the way at the bottom of the deck, then your Reno Jackson is just useless. So for the most part, people just use one of each card, and this one is, is kind of standard. I mean, look at that curve. That is so, so good. It's actually perfect. And cards like the Dark Peddler make it even better because you get another one cost from it. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of junk in here. A lot of big legendaries, a lot of smaller stuff, a lot of Warlock cards, a lot of neutrals. I don't know, it's pointless to try and go through every single card, but the main idea behind the deck, or the way it plays, is it controls the board with AoE throughout the early portion of the game pretty effectively, I must add. I know that because I've played against a lot of these Reno locks, and then later on it just has a bunch of big stuff that it throws out, and it never dies because there are a bunch of heals, heals in it too, like uh, Refreshment Vendor, most of them run Earthen Ring Farseer, and Antique Healbot, plus then on top of that Reno Jackson, which is a full heal. It's crazy. It's crazy and I... I love Gul'dan it. Versus Anduin. I don't love playing against it. Light shall bring so I'm glad I'm in the driver's seat for once. Now mine. against a priest. I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna keep the Twilight Drake. How many priests run silence? Thing is, we're not actually... Yeah, let's keep the Twilight Drake. It's risky, but I don't see the priest game being too fast. Well, that's good. Having Reno in your opening hand is good, but I was going to say you kind of want a reasonable start. And you know what's kind of weird as well is that when you're playing against a Reno Jackson deck, this happens quite often that you see them tap in, and then you think to yourself, okay, 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 handlock. There's definitely a handlock. And then a turn or two later, something pops out that's definitely not considered standard Welcome in handlock. It's, it's weird. Warlocks are in a really good place right now. If you play them on the ladder, you are literally always catching your opponents off guard. I can just tap again, right? Yeah. Mm, I wish I had drawn that in the previous... I would have played Brand Bronzebeard. The damned stand ready. Oh wow, that's... that's strong. Oh, you know what else is strong? A massive Twilight Break. 4-9. Next turn, Fugan. Fugan, the better of the two, I think. I mean, 4-7 is much more difficult to deal with. It's interesting. Because I've got the old Reno Jackson in hand, I think I just tossed down either Lothab or, or Fugan. Fugan might be better here. Although, Shadow Flame is not great. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to Shadow Flame. Look, if I attack in there, then I Mortal Coil, then I Shadow Flame on the remnants of the Drake, then everything dies, and we're all happy. I don't know if that's the play, but I... I like it. <laughs> it's the play I want to make. But again, is there really a point? I... I feel like that is... Ah, let's just do it. Whatever. Must be so disheartening for this guy. So that alone makes it worth it for me. Everything he tried to build in this game. Gone. Gone in a flame of shadow. Now, here's where things get interesting because i got a lot of choices. I can start healing up if I'd like, which is unnecessary. He's not going to burst me down. I I feel Fugan might be a good idea. I want to get Fugan out and off the board before... Do we think he's gonna... Yeah, he probably has a Cabal Shadow Priest, right? So we don't want to... 
mess around with, with two attack stuff when we're going into turn six. I think this is a good opportunity to silence as well uh, in the next turn. Welcome to the it's a good opportunity because then I don't have to deal with whatever comes out of there, the little one two slime. I suppose it depends on what he plays though. Let's see. Let's see what he throws down. I'm scared of playing the Imp Gang Boss just because... Oh, now he's overextending because... Oh, well, I suppose if he heals it's good, but he's overextending because he thinks I have no AoE. Do I have no AoE? I find that very interesting. He could have double dipped with the heals if he was uh, actually, like, you know, really lacking. Okay, Dark Peddler might be a decent play because it could prompt a Cabal Shadow Priest for him. Another decent play is Siphon Soul, and then this into there, but then we have one mana left. There's nothing to really use that on. Uh, it's not worth considering anything like Reno. I think maybe Bran. No, but Bran, if he steals Bran, that's terrible, so and I have no way to really deal with it, so. I think we go Dark Pedal Lower Thib. Or if we get a Mortal Coil from here, then we just reconsider. Let's go Dark Pedal first. <laughs> we don't want to drop the hero power, so we're going to go Void Walker maybe. Thing is, he'll never steal Void Walker. If there's something better. Ah, tough. Yeah, okay. Fine. Fine, fine. I think we just go for this. Damn, I'm playing this terribly, aren't I? <laughs> I just don't know what to do. There's so much stuff. Oh no, oh no, the Mega Nova. Oh. Okay. I'm still safe. I guess, but oh wow. 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 This is a joke. The fact that I just picked this up is a joke. Question is, do I do I want to take a chance and maybe uh, have him overextend? Cuz I I'm safe. I'm well out of range of of like his I don't know, lethal capabilities. And if I pop down the lower there, but he can't play spells, he will be forced to play like a bunch of minions or one or two bigger minions or something. It might be good. I, I guess it's safer just throwing the Hellfire out right now, but he's still got a lot of cards in hand. So maybe, maybe we take a chance. So like, lower there into, lower there and gang boss? Or we tap? Damn, it's tough. This is a tough choice. I want to put this out though, like definitely. The fact that he had flash heal means he's probably got uh, Orc and I. I see. Why do you fall? Okay, so I played this because I want to bait out the the Cabal. This would be perfect, perfect, right now if he played the Cabal. He didn't. You have the artifact. Damn, this is bad. We'll see, we'll see, maybe it's not bad. Kill that. Okay, this is okay, this is fine, but I'm, oh, I'm not getting to him. Because if he didn't draw the map, that's good. But if he keeps drawing, he's gonna draw another one here now. We have, now is the time. So we put this here. Is close. Oh, but then Lothib dies. Lothib not gonna die anyway. There's no spell power in hand. Lothib's gonna die anyway, right? We know that. So silence. There. Oh, uh, denying draw at this point seems useless, so... Then again, what else are we gonna silence? I could silence this right now. Deny one draw. No, there's no point. Uh. Do I ever think he's gonna have a weapon? 
No. This is just a bit of play, though. Damn, I, I think I'm just doing this terribly. I, I honestly believe there are many, many, many better ways of doing this. Although this interests me. Okay, he's drawing me. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. He's trying to... He's going for the golden monkey win. That's what he's going for. I don't even think I need to... Honestly, don't even think I need to go for the, the Reno yet. I have no time for games. Yeah, okay. Funny, this one doesn't have any taunt to... Uh, oh, it has, it has one Defender of Argus, right? And one Sludge Belt. Yeah, okay, so there's some taunt. This variation of Reno Lock. I'm putting a lot of faith in the... In Tomb? Okay. In fact, he doesn't have any burst, but I don't think he's got any burst. Is that Villain's Chosen? Power Word Shield or Villain's Chosen? I want to say he might just deck himself. He might just completely destroy all the cards and not be able to kill me. But does that matter? I don't know. Is that going to help him win? I don't know. Probably not. There goes that. Okay, so now it's Reno Jackson time. Oh, maybe it's not Reno Jackson time. Damn. <laughs> no, no, okay, no, no, no. It's too risky. I can't not play Reno Jackson now. We're gonna be rich. I mean, obviously I'm gonna play it now. It's gonna fill me up. And... Do we think he's got a lot of spells? I think he might have a lot of spells, so we're gonna save that. I'm just hoping, upon hope, that he doesn't draw into that silly map. I think he might have. I think he might have drawn into it. Okay. Look, I'm happy if he gets rid of all these first. So we'll siphon soul on there. Oh, this is quite nice. I can actually play this big game hundred if I want. I'm not gonna do that. But I can. I can. That's the most important thing here. It is a possibility. So, Siphon Soul on here. It could bring out Jaraxxus, which is not actually what I want. I want Jaraxxus uh, so to be played legit. So, we're gonna go boom. Or tap and boom. Or silence. Ah. Silence doesn't help. Uh, because he can still just... Like, I can silence this, there's no point. I can silence that, there's no point. I think we go boom. So many possibilities. Oh, let's go Bron... Brand Bronzebeard boom. That's pretty sick, right? Because Battlecry, that'll be four bots. Come on, that's fun. That's, that's so... F I'm doing it. I'm doing it. That's fun. <laughs> I've never done this for God again, again. Oh my God. He's, he's just going to clear them all, but they are going to lay waste to everything he's got. Watch him steal it. I'll hate him if he steals it. Totally Nova. Okay. Oh, but how is he going to kill Boom? Huh. Light bomb. Whoa. That actually just happened. Not quite what was planned. Yeah. I'd say. What? How? How did they all go face? Uh, okay, that's that's really good. So five and six. I can't play all of it yet. Damn, I'm just on the back foot constantly here, and I need to make a move soon because now Jarax is in my hand, so I think we can use this on here. What are we doing there? Well, like, it could be worse. It's just pointless playing this right now, so we might silence. No, we'll tap first, then we see. Oh, good, finally. 
just playing that now. I want to save the silence. I I realize he can just pop that off, out with that and put this on here. Then he's got his heal back. But, oh no, wait, you know what? I think I might have just killed myself. Because that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Ah, he's not going to do another 10 damage. I want him to burst. So I want him to, like, go for it. Really go for it. He's used both flash shields, if I'm not mistaken. And then I can put down Jaraxxus. And he's just got... He's got nothing left. Then again, if he draws into that map soon, he'll have something left, that's for sure. Literally, every single turn has been a misplay for me. That's why I, I'm never really sure, it's like, there's just too much in the deck. It's too much of a Swiss army knife, so I just don't know. This is interesting, is he not gonna put, yeah, he would wanna do that, he wants to burst as hard as he can. So then he wants to do that face. Oh? Oh, he wants to start healing, okay. So he's scared, he fears for his life right now. To be honest, it's still not time. I think right now we're gonna go Stalag and, and Implosion. I guess that's all I needed. He's used an Okanai. He hasn't used a, a Circle of Healing yet, but both the Pyromancers are gone. Uh, a Light Bomb is out of the way, a Holy Nova is out of the way. Dude doesn't have that much left. There we go, that's the second Holy Nova. If that's it, then I can... Okay, perfect. Perfect. We do this, right? Put something good out, please. Oh. My. God. Concede time. That's it. Even if he gets the silly map now, it's not gonna win the game for him. It's actually- it's actually too late now. You have bested. Yeah. I have. I have bested you. <laughs> I, I almost nearly used the happy feast of winter where- oh. Shouldn't have done that. It's good that I didn't. And it's good that I won. I didn't expect that. Let's go again. I I want a slightly smoother game this time though, because that one was that was a rocky ride. I think I I could have lost that pretty easily. That could have gone either way at any point. We'll see. Maybe I can play a little bit in this one. Ah! Good. I was hoping to run into a paladin. I will fight with honor. Your soul shall be Power overwhelming just sat there in my hand all game long. Did not do a thing. Give me Reno, please. Whoa. That is too sick. The Shadow Flame is, is overkill, but Demon Wrath and the Swamp Ooze, pretty great. Now the question is, do I coin the Peddler? I don't think I do. It depends on what he does. No, actually, even if he plays like a Secret Keeper or something on turn one, I, I still don't coin anything out because there's just no reason. Uh, ideally, I'd save the coin for Demon Wrath. I wonder. Uh. Okay, fine. I don't have enough. I don't have enough mana. I want to do it now. This changes things, because I want to trigger the secret before he gets stuff out. Now, what do we take here? Blood Imp against Paladin seems pretty pointless. Reliquary Seeker, I will never fill my board up. How overwhelming. It's useful, but like, in which situation? It might actually just be best to take Blood Imp. I mean, then I've got to play for the next turn. Possibilities. Nah, I mean, I guess power overwhelming, right? We take this for the late game. Yeah. Unfortunately, the other two just wouldn't have helped. I mean, I say that now, maybe it would have. Maybe they would have been amazing, but... Uh, that's... Oh, man. Every time. Deal. Okay, so it's probably Avenge. It could actually be Competitive Spirit. That's reasonable. Not competitive spirit. It's probably Avenge then. I hate playing against Avenge. It's so tough. I suppose we're gonna swamp boost that. I 
I swamp proves it now, he's gonna be like, sorry, and then he's gonna play True Silver in the next turn. I do it anyway, right? Uh, Hello, Demon Ref. Hello, Shadow Flame. Demon Wrath, obviously, because I mean, Shadow Flame won't, won't help. Oh, okay, so I, I can't even. See, the thing is, I can't even proc the secret. But I don't need to proc the secret because when I put this here now, then uh, this dies. All this stuff dies to Demon Wrath, and we're golden, right? Okay. Right. Redemption. It's bad, but it's not terrible. Like, it's out of the way. That's, that's the most important part right now. Wow, wow, oh my god, no. This is bad. Well, at least Molten is coming into range soon. But what do I even do right now? What if that is repentance? Then I'm screwed. Then I'm just finished. Okay, so I can't play much of anything here. I'm setting up for... This is good. This is probably the best play. Lower Thib. Next turn, that's probably Mysterious Challenger, right? So, uh, this is not going to be... We're not going to be able to touch it. This is not going to be something we can kill. That said, we obviously just need to draw into more. We need to survive a bit longer. Lower Thib is worse than this, then. In that case. Oh my god. It had to be Repentance. It, it had to be. It had to be this one time. Wow. Secret Paladin, man. No cards in hand. Ripping me. I suppose it's because they're getting all this stuff out. I need uh, the Defender of Argus now. It's, it's, it's actually the only chance I've got. The only chance I've got. Or Reno, of course. Reno is, is a pretty good chance, too. Siphon Soul works. Keeps me alive long enough. So I'll play this. He, he doesn't run to Repentance. I'll play this. I'll Siphon Soul. And I'll be alive. Please don't be a thing. Isn't he afraid of, of Reno Jackson? A possible Reno Jackson? He's not okay. God, he's gonna go face. Go, just go face. There you go. That's what you want to do, right? I think this is Shadow Flame. I mean, that's also a pretty good Hellfire, but without Reno Jackson, I can't really be killing myself. At this point. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Okay, so Shadow Flame, then we've got three left. We can put this down or Brand Bronzebeard down. Brand Bronzebeard sets up very nicely for the next turn. Yeah, okay, so we got Brand Bronzebeard. If that's Tyrion, then I'm just royally screwed. Secret Paladins always have Tyrion in hand. If he doesn't have Tyrion, all Mysterious- Oh. Uh. Ah, look, I'm not dead, because this is going to trigger twice. It's going to heal me up a little bit. And then I can still play... Implosion. Yeah, the best play is definitely Refreshment Vendor in Closure. 
And yes, I was well aware of the fact that I wasn't going to do any damage. The best play was that, because now he's, he's sort of considering, you know, one of these two. And if he does one of those two, I can kill it in the next turn. I've got the opportunity to kill it. And he's, so he's not going face anymore. That, that kind of messes things up for me. But now if I do kill that, then at least he's... Oh, okay, Divine Favor, right. I was going to say at least he's not going to get that second charge from his weapon. And this is pretty great, because now Hellfire... Oh no! Go... Oh. That sucks. That, I think, may have just sealed the deal. Five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine. I may just be dead now. I can tap into Reno. Uh, alternatively, I can put that there. Then he just needs one damage out of hand, which he definitely has, so... We need to tap into Reno. I can't power overwhelm in his dude. Heal what works. Because <laughs> 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 he refilled his hand at divine favor, we just lose the game. They're like automatically, there's, there's actually just no contest. Oh, if he plays Muster now. Hmm. Well, I'd say I wonder, does he attack into that or does he attack into my face? So, Reno into... Please be Reno. Oh. Reno? I just have to tap into Reno. And I'm dead. Well played. Damn. So that was not amazing, but that was just Secret Paladin in a nutshell. I don't know if I could have done anything differently. I think I had such good value swings, but then he comes and returns the favor with divine favor, and everything just backfires on me. The inconsistency, I think, is something that Reno Lock will have. You know, because it's, it's one of each card. You don't have any doubles, so just trying to get that one Reno Jackson in your deck. It could have been any one of those 16 or 17 cards left. Overall, though, I... I want to say I nearly had that. I think I did okay. And you know what's been a real waste for me thus far? Is power overwhelming. It just hasn't been working, because I, I've never been in a position where I can actually use it properly. I'm sure I killed Tyrion with it, but... Anyway. Let me know what you think about Reno Warlock, or Reno Lock as they call it. There are so many different types. I think that one specifically was a Chinese variation that has a really high win percentage. Don't know how high, but really high. It works okay. I mean, it works. I think if I had slightly more experience with it, I would do better. But it is fun to play, so that's probably the most important thing. Anyway, check back as soon for more. Give it a like, share it, and do all your stuff. Most important though. Happy trying Reno Lockout on the ladder. Happy that.